in. And now we have him out the server as well. GG, man. That was uh, an incredible bounce back. Uh, first of all, you know, can you tell us a bit about the mentality of the team coming onto this one, particularly after that loss on Inferno? Yeah, I mean, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> and you go into Inferno T side and... Uh, a lot of the situations uh, could have been different if I got the kills necessary on Banana. We lost Banana Control and uh, the calls were sleepy. Individually, all, p all players were sleepy. You could feel it. And uh, it's really good that we got that CT momentum uh, at the end of the map that allowed us to go in uh, Anubis and uh, then afterwards to Mirage. You guys were surprised seeing Anubis being picked against you at that point in the game? Yeah, honestly, yes. I mean, that's a risk, but... Uh, I guess uh, it's group stage, so they wanted to risk it. I mean, uh, I mean and especially we played them in scrims. And uh -huh. for us, it's a, it's a very interesting ground to see the first Anubis being played here. Can you give us your thoughts on how that game went out for you? Because it felt like you were in control most of the time. How did it feel from inside the game? Uh, I mean, by stats, Anubis is T-sided, right? But uh, we got really fortunate with a lot of CT side rounds at the start of the game and uh, which allowed us to uh, comfortably take uh, duels and uh, gain information around the map and uh, play comfortably you know if uh, the game started 3-0 for them for example or like into 5-0 for them then the, it would be really hard to win the map so a good start and then a good close. I'm really curious as to how much practice time you actually had on Anubis as well because we heard from quite a lot of the teams outsiders have been practicing it a lot a lot of people have played against them how much practice did you actually put onto this map? We actually practiced a decent amount. Uh, it, it was pretty funny because all this practice between the tournaments was uh, they were in America and I was in Europe and we was were either playing day three people with 100 ping, 120 ping, or me with 150. <laughs> and uh, that, was, that ain't the vibe. Yeah, it was pretty fun <laughs> practice. But uh, Anubis was definitely one of the maps that we focused on because we understood that if our Anubis is going to be bad, then our map will just shatters. I just wanted to also touch on the last map. From an external perspective, it felt like outsiders were really out of it. No joke, no pun intended. It felt like some of the duels they were taking, they were quite fragile and weak. Is that something that you guys felt in the game as well? Uh, I, would, I would say that yes, uh, in terms of... Uh, some individual plays, you could you could feel that uh, they're lost at a point, for example, when Flit, Flit pushed top mid. We were expecting that, but uh, we just didn't... Uh, didn't kill him and as soon as you understand that uh, they're going for these individual solo plays they under you understand that their macro game is not working and uh, you just expect and uh, you're comfortable playing but uh, i would say it's just a matter of t side uh, literally how we won uh, uh, how we got rounds on ct side and obis at the start the same way we got those the same rounds on mirage t side and we controlled the game we controlled the pacing and it's really hard to play when you're behind well, you can really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for your words. We'll let Thank you go you. off and uh, celebrate you. with your teammates as well. Yeah, really Thank looking you. forward to seeing Have you. Have a nice day. Thanks, Thank you, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to continue the conversation